Welcome to day 10 of our September scripture challenge here at Zion United Church of Christ. Today we're going to look at Genesis chapters 20 through 21. As always, we have some questions for you to think about as you listen to this reading. They are, what is a word or phrase that stands out to you? What is one question this text sparks for you? And what is God speaking through this text today? You can share your thoughts in the comments. Here's our reading for today. From there, Abraham journeyed towards the region of the Negev and settled between Kadesh and Shur. While residing in Gerar as an alien, Abraham said of his wife, Sarah, she is my sister. And King Abimelech from Gerar sent and took Sarah. But God came to Abimelech in a dream by night and said to him, You are about to die because of the woman you have taken, for she is a married woman. Now Abimelech had not approached her, so he said, Lord, will you destroy an innocent people? Did he not himself say to me, She is my sister? And she herself said, He is my brother. I did this in the integrity of my heart and the innocence of my hands. Then God said to him in a dream, Yes, I know that you did this in the integrity of your heart. Furthermore, it was I who kept you from sinning against me. Therefore, I did not let you touch her. Now then, return this man's wife, for he is a prophet, and he will pray for you, and you shall live. But if you do not restore her, know that you shall surely die, you and all that is yours. So Abimelech rose early in the morning and called all his servants and told them these things. And the men were very much afraid. Then Abimelech said to Abraham and said to him, What have you done to us? How have I sinned against you that you have brought such great guilt on me and my kingdom? You have done things to me that ought not be done. And Abimelech said to Abraham, What were you thinking of that you did this thing? Abraham said, I did it because I thought there is no fear of God at all in this place, and they will kill me because of my wife. Besides, she is indeed my sister, the daughter of my father, but not the daughter of my mother, and she became my wife. And when God caused me to wander from my father's house, I said to her, This is the kindness you must do to me. At every place to which we come, say of me, He is my brother. Then Abimelech took sheep and oxen and male and female slaves and gave them to Abraham and restored his wife Sarah to him. Abimelech said, My land is before you. Settle where it pleases you. To Sarah, he said, Look, I have given your brother a thousand pieces of silver. It is your exoneration before all who are with you. You are completely vindicated. Then Abraham prayed to God, and God healed Abimelech. And he also healed his wife and female slaves, so they bore children. For the Lord had closed fast all the wombs of the house of Abimelech because of Sarah, Abraham's wife. The Lord dealt with Sarah as he had said, and the Lord did for Sarah as he had promised. Sarah conceived and bore Abraham a son in his old age, at the time of which God had spoken to him. Abraham gave the name Isaac to his son whom Sarah bore him. And Abraham circumcised Isaac when he was eight days old, as God had commanded him. Abraham was a hundred years old when his son Isaac was born to him. Now Sarah said, God has brought laughter for me. Everyone who hears will laugh with me. And she said, who would ever have said to Abraham that Sarah would nurse children? Yet I have borne him a son in his old age. The child grew and was weaned, and Abraham made a great feast on the day that Isaac was weaned. But Sarah saw the son of Hagar, the Egyptian, whom she had borne to Abraham, playing with her son Isaac. 
So she said to Abraham, Cast out this slave woman with her son, for the son of this slave woman shall not inherit along with my son Isaac. The matter was very distressing to Abraham on account of his son. But God said to Abraham, Do not be distressed because of the boy, because of your slave woman. Whatever Sarah says to you, do as she tells you, for it is as for it is through Isaac that offspring shall be named after you. As for the son of the slave woman, I will make a nation of him also, because he is your offspring. So Abraham rose early in the morning and took bread and a skin of water and gave it to Hagar, putting it on her shoulder along with the child and sent her away. And she departed and wandered about in the wilderness of Beir Sheba. When the water in the skin was gone, she cast the child under one of the bushes. Then she went and sat down opposite him, a good way off, about the distance of a bow shot. For she said, Do not let me look upon the death of the child. As she sat, sat opposite him, she lifted up her voice and wept. And God heard the voice of the boy, and the angel of God called to Hagar from heaven and said to her, What troubles you, Hagar? Do not be afraid, for God has heard the voice of the boy where he is. Come, lift up the boy and hold him fast with your hand, for I will make a great nation of him. Then God opened her eyes, and she saw a well of water. She went and filled the skin with water and gave the boy a drink. God was with the boy, and he grew up. He lived in the wilderness and became an expert with the bow. He lived in the wilderness of Paran, and his mother got a wife for him from the land of Egypt. At that time, Abimelech, with Philcol, the commander of his army, said to Abraham, God is with you in all that you do. Now, therefore, swear to me here by God that you will not deal falsely with me or with my offspring or with my posterity, but as I have dealt loyally with you, you will deal with me with the land where you have resided as an alien. And Abraham said, I swear it. When Abraham complained to Abimelech about a well of water that Abimelech's servants had seized, Abimelech said, I do not know who has done this. You did not tell me, and I have not heard of it until today. So Abraham took sheep and oxen and gave them to Abimelech, and, to, and the two men made a covenant. Abraham set apart seven ewe lambs of the flock, and Abimelech said to Abraham, what is the meaning of these seven ewe lambs that you have set apart? He said, These seven ewe lambs you shall accept from my hand, in order that you may be a witness for me that I dug this well. Therefore that place was called Beir Sheba, because there both of them swore an oath. When they had made a covenant at Be Be'er Sheba, Abimelech, with Phicol, the commander of his army, left and returned to the land of the Philistines. Abraham planted a tamarisk tree in Be'er Sheba and called there on the name of the Lord, the everlasting God. And Abraham resided as an alien for many days in the land of the Philistines. As you reflect on this reading, you're invited to think about these questions. What is a word or phrase that stands out to you? What is one question this text sparks for you? And what is God speaking through this text today? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below.